listen, real quick, we're gonna keep this short, sweet, and to the point, all right? Well, first and foremost, I wanna say thank you guys for showing me so much love and support on all my social media platforms. Um, I wanna thank you guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, really quick updates. For those who don't know, my Raise Your Spark Inner Circle community is available to all men and women, okay? So gentlemen, if you are looking for a community where you can evolve, grow, we have created a space, a safe space for all. So we have a separate men's group and we have a separate women's group, but join our community where we host weekly calls. Also, if you guys are not aware, we do now have Bible studies on Thursdays. Visit RaiseYourSpark.com for all this information or follow us on Instagram, Raise Your Spark. Bible study is open to all. It is a free um, tool for everyone who wants to get closer to God and learn his word. Um, this toilet is loud. I don't know why, but shh. <laughs> um, also, what else? What else? Oh, and for all women, listen, we are going on tour, our prayer board tour is going to be live we are having our first event november 11th out here in houston and then we're going to new york city december 9th and then going into the new year january 6th we will be in atlanta so listen get your tickets visit raiseyourspark.com again to get your tickets secure your spots and all that good stuff to connect really quick y'all so on today's word let me tell y'all what just happened so i'm downstairs making some breakfast or whatever and I was making like content. I had this piece of, I had this video um, that was from my event, my conference that I did September 9th. And I was like, oh, this is cute. Let me just post it. So as I'm putting it together, I'm like right there in that very, very moment, in that very moment, God brought to my remembrance where he brought me from. He brought to my remembrance where he brought me from. And, and, and sometimes God has to remind you what he brought you through because sometimes our current circumstance or our current situation may feel like, oh my God, this is it. I feel stuck. I feel like, Lord, is this where you're keeping me? But he sometimes has to remind you what he brought you through so that he can show you that if he did it before, he'll do it again. So number one, listen, y'all, your current situation is not your final destination. So understand that God knows exactly what he's doing and he understands why he's doing it the way that he is doing it so just trust and lean on him because he is faithful and he is a God who cannot lie and he is a consistent God therefore trust in him in all your ways lean not unto your own understanding and understand that his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts so even though it doesn't make sense to you even though you can't track God that doesn't mean that he isn't working on your behalf because let me tell you in that very moment as I'm putting this video together God had to remind me yo Kairos listen to me listen to me daughter I know that right now things may seem like they may not be moving as swiftly as you may think, but I am doing a thing for you behind the scenes. And in the meantime, I am preparing you. I am preparing your position. I am getting you right. I'm getting you together. I am getting you in position to receive all that I have for you. But I need you to stay in position and I need you to keep your eyes on me. Let me tell y'all something right now. In the name of Jesus, I want to speak and decree and declare this over your life. The enemy will not win, okay? He will not take you back to where you came from. Understand that the enemy just comes to steal your identity because he understands that if he steals your identity, you will no longer have the courage or the boldness to walk in who God called you to be. But I speak life over you right now in the name of Jesus. The enemy tried to steal my identity, but the Lord said what the enemy meant for evil, I would turn it around for your good. He tried to call me out and call me a felon. He tried to call me out and say I was a murderer. He tried to call me out and say that I would never amount to anything. But thank God for Jesus. Because when you walk with Jesus, when you give your life to Jesus, when you surrender to Jesus, he will give you a new identity. Why? Because old things have passed away. Why? Because when you're walking with God, he will no longer hold against you what you've been through. He will no longer hold against you who you used to be. So don't let the enemy steal you and rob you from who God called you to be. So in the name of Jesus, I need you to speak life over yourself. In the name of Jesus, I need you to speak life over your, your circumstances, over who God called you to be understand something that the devil gets really angry when he understands that you understand who you are in Christ. So when you start to establish yourself in his kingdom, when you start to establish yourself in his word, when you start to build a firm foundation in Christ, the enemy don't like that. So listen here, I came and served notice to the enemy. You should have took me out a long time ago. You should have took me out when you had the chance. You should have took me out when I was in that prison cell. But thank God 
life with Jesus because now I am boldly walking in who God called me to be. I am boldly walking in the identity of the woman of God that God created me to be. He has called me out. And guess what? I am walking in my victory. I am walking in my anointing. And no matter what my circumstances look like, when I look back over my life and I look back at all God has brought me through and I look at how he changed my identity, he changed me from being the woman people said will never amount to anything to being a woman who is touching the masses. I am, who? thank you, Lord. He would change your identity. He would change your identity so you don't have to worry no more of who you used to be. You don't have to worry about explaining to people what you used to do. Yes, I used to get high and smoke my weed, but that was who I used to be. Yes, I used to drink and have sex outside of marriage, but that's who I used to be. Yes, I did it. That was what I did. That's who I used to be, but I'm no longer that. Yes, I used to be in the nightclubs dancing on tables, jumping on seats, grinding on men, but guess what? That's no longer who I am. I am a woman of God. I am a new creation. I am the head and not the tail. I am victorious. I am anointed. I am gifted. I am I am favored in the name of Jesus. I have a new identity and I thank God for the new identity because let me tell you, the only way your identity will change, the only way you will receive the identity of who you are truly called to be is if you give your life to Jesus. It's if you serve the one who created you, the creator of creators, okay? Understand that God has the answer he is the way he is the light he is the truth and so again we are serving the enemy notice today that satan you should have took me out a long time ago you should have took me out when you had the chance you should have took me out when you had me battling with depression you should have took me out when i was dealing with anxiety you should have took me out before i reached and touched the hem of his garment because now that i am walking in victory now that i am walking with jesus i am established in his kingdom because now i understand my identity in him you can no longer take me out and use things against me to drive me crazy because I am a child of the Most High. I am the daughter of a king. I am the daughter of the Lord of Lords. So Jesus, thank you. Thank you for taking me out. Thank you for pulling me out. Thank you for giving me identity when I didn't know who I was. Thank you, oh God, for not leaving me where you met me. Thank you, Jesus. He's giving you a new identity, but you've got to surrender. He's giving you a new identity, but you have to stop looking back at who you used to be. He's giving you a new identity, but I need you to understand that when the enemy attacks, he attacks your mind. But when he attacks your mind, you got to speak up against it. In the name of Jesus, saying, I cancel any demonic idea, thought, or plan that you had over my life. For I am a child of the Most High. I am the daughter of a king. I am the daughter of the king. Okay, so y'all need to speak up against it because if somebody comes at you right now with some energy, you going to be ready to square up because I know me I mean I'm getting there I ain't all the way there so I don't know how I would respond if somebody tried me but in the name of Jesus the Holy Ghost will take charge all right but in the name of Jesus a lot of us ain't all the way together you know somebody might say something to us about us and we might respond in this kind of way that isn't conducive to who we are called to be right but the point is that if something comes your way you're gonna get in defense mode you're gonna want to fight right you're gonna want to fight you gonna wanna take him out. And that's how you gotta approach the enemy. When he comes and tries to put thoughts in your mind that nothing's gonna happen, that this is where you're staying, you have to remind him like Maverick City says, he's gonna make a way. He will not fail you. He hasn't failed you. He may have not showed up when you wanted him to show up, but he showed up when he needed to show up. And that's why he's always on time because he's an on-time God. He's an on-time God. He is a God who cannot fail. He is a God who cannot lie. He is a God that keeps his promises. He is a God who is consistent. He is a God what he did for Mary, what he did for, for Joe, what he did for, for Jonah, what he did for Noah, what he did for, what he did, what he did, what he did, he can do it again. He can do it again. He can do it again. So be encouraged. Be encouraged and understand that we serve a true living God, a consistent God. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jireh. Yeah, let me, he is, he is who he says he is and more. So lean on him. Be encouraged. Encourage yourself. Not today, Satan. Not today. Not this house. Not this body. Not this mind. Not this house. Not this relationship. Not this marriage. Not this child. Not, not, not my parents. All right? Not my friendships. You can't take it. You can't have it. You can't have it. You can't have it because we are covered by the blood. We have, we, you, who? You have no authority over our life. We are not your property, so get your hands off. 
get behind me, Satan. Get behind me, Satan. Again, you should have took me out when you had the chance, but you got a problem, and now we're gearing up, and Raging Spark is gearing up, and we're about to create a massive movement, and we're going to war because we are here to fight for his kingdom. We are here to fight for his people. We are here to fight for his children. So what's up? What's up? What up, Satan? What you want to do now? You got the right one. You got the right one. You got the right one because now I know how to fight. Now I know how to take charge. Now I know how to put my armor on. All right? Now you got the right one. You got the right one. In the name of Jesus. I don't know where this came from. But Lord, I'm hyped because I promise you, the devil tried it. He tried it. Yeah, yesterday, y'all. Was it yesterday? Tuesday? Monday. I sit in the house all day in my room. I didn't even want to step out. He tried it. He tried it. He tried to make me feel like all these things you're doing to be obedient to God is not going to lead you where you want to go in life. And the devil is a liar because God is the way. He is the truth. He is the light. So saying you tried it. You tried it. And so today as I was sitting there putting this reel together and I'm looking at the woman God has brought me to. He reminded me of who I used to be. He reminded me of how far he's brought me. Hey. God is so good. Oh. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. I am here to say thank you, Jesus. Listen, y'all, real quick. This shirt, pray until something happens, push. This is my brand. I launched it back in 2020, December 2020. Um, I am in the process of revamping it, rebranding. So follow us on Instagram, shoppush.co. So shoppush.co. Okay.